Well, it's not perfect, but for a one-man job, I think it's gonna do the trick. A little ventilation. Got it pretty tight. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Guard dog. How bigger this year? All right, here's a nighttime tour. Bring up a little light in here just to give it a little ambiance. A chill spot. Wait for clover, clover cover crops to pop up. If the chihuahua will stop hopping around in my topsoil. Put up the fence. I finished filling that one. I finished filling all these ones. And that bag back there. Some babies here. Mango Arene. Green Fire Genetics. It's gonna be some fire. And we got some. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Mother's Tongue times Buddha's Delight. Should give us some nice watermelon bubblegum turps. Uh, we got Wi Fi times something. I can't remember. I have to look. That's what's cracking out here, and then a whole bunch of Cam Timbo's um, Dog Walker OGs. Amazing color, I just can't wait to see those. But yeah, there it is. West Kush Farms home location. Oh, big. I gotta back way up here to get the whole thing in it. Yeah, hold on, maybe I won't fall over something. Boom, there you go. I'll have to throw my cold canopy back in there. Yeah, that's chunky. Yeah, that's chunky. There it is. Let's go. Damage report. So after a long battle, you guys know I've been battling in veg uh, with what was going to be my outdoor crop. Uh, we started off with red aphids, still potted small, still not really drinking or eating very well, but a lot of that is due to heavy treatments. Botanic guard got rid of that, but then right following after that, we ended up running into russet mites, of course. So you can still see some effects. From that, some funky growth. Um, they're pulling out of it now. Um, I can't find any RA, but uh, now the real damage is from spider mites. And I would say that aggressive treatment, like I've been doing, uh, Botanigar dunks, and then following that, Azimax, um, and continuing with the Azimax, rotating with Multi Mite and uh, Dr. Bronner's. Uh, the plants are probably just almost as damaged from the treatments and as stressed uh, as they are from the bugs at this point. So still debating uh, on whether or not we're going to go ahead and run these outdoors or not, or run seedlings. Uh, acclimating them out here, hoping kind of the weather change out here from the bedroom and, uh, and just them being in a different environment might uh, speed up the process here. Russets seem to be under control, but these spider mites, which I've dealt with millions of times before, um, are the most resistant to spotted spider mites I've ever ran into in my life. These things seem to not only thrive through treatment, but um, multiply even more <laughs> after treatment. So uh, I've gone through, removed physically, any kind of webbing that I can find and really blasted the underside of these leaves uh, with the spray, uh, hitting them pretty hard. Uh, just hoping that a little tougher spray will manually remove some of them also. Um, so we will be stepping up our game here with these guys, switching to another product. Um, something that should be coming to you all eventually. Something that I think we're going to be really proud of to release, but uh, more updates on that later. But here we are so far, a couple of Jaegers, um, 
beautiful Hindukalini Afku. I really, really wanted to run outside. Um, here we've got my cross, the Fire OG that I love so much. Times that Pulp Fiction you guys might remember from last year that just had great weight and color. Uh, Asian Orange from Greenwood. What's up, buddy? Uh, another Fire Times Pulp Fiction. That's uh, way more Fire OG leaning. And it's all bent over because I soaked it. Um, this is the more um, Pulp Fiction leaner. This right here, I believe, well, it is better not say it, so look, yep, it is a little more indica leaning afku, uh, or sativa leaning afku, and then this is the more indica leaning, you know, which most of you know I just flowered out, and it was, <laughs> it was incredible, I loved it. Uh, over here we've got um, the newest attack, since these guys are started outside, they haven't seen uh, pests aside from common aphids, which are a real pain in the ass, but not that big of a deal. Uh, treated them successfully really quickly, so. Uh, but that's Mangoarine from Greenfire Genetics. Um, we've got some Buddha's Delight times uh, Mother's Tongue. Should be a nice bubble gum and watermelon. And we've also got some. Let's see, what else we got? A whole bunch of these are actually Cam's S1s of Dog Walker. And uh, Cam Tembo had some just amazing Finos of Dog Walker. Uh, we'll take a look over here. Our soil mix, big roots, um, some amended, amended with some uh, one shot from Nectar, and uh, some Kashi, and. Uh, a little bit of the castings from Bundy, but you can see over cover crop popping up. Yeah, looking good. So these are all the pots we're gonna run with. A couple hundreds, a couple 45s, a couple 55s, a couple 35s, a couple 25s. Uh, we're not gonna transplant into anything just yet. Um, this whole greenhouse is being pumped full of beneficial uh, bacteria and fungi and insects. So uh, I hate having these guys out here while they have bugs on them. But I'm confident that we're going to be able to go ahead and mass treat everything and keep up with our IPM and we'll be fine. But future reference, not a good idea for you guys. But uh, if you know what you're doing, you might be able to get away with it. We'll see. Anyway, West Kush out. Peace.